Neil Snelson bowed his head as the jury of six women and six men came down with the verdict of guilty of manslaughter. The 44-year-old Kelowna man was on trial for the 1993 first-degree murder of OUC student Jennifer Cusworth. The jury had been deliberating for nearly four days before reaching a verdict. One of Snelson's two lawyers, Grant Gray, admits that the research. verdict came as a surprise. It was a little bit of an un unanticipated result, I think, on everybody's part, Crown and Defense. He adds that the fact that the jury didn't come down with a first-degree murder conviction means it was struggling with intent. It simply means that they weren't satisfied beyond a reasonable doubt that he had formed the necessary intent to make an unlawful act that resulted in death not manslaughter, but actually murder. The fact that Nelson was under the influence of alcohol at the time of the murder could have played a role in the jury's verdict. The sentence for a manslaughter conviction can range from a suspended sentence to life in prison to be determined at a later date. Because he's been doing double time, technically, Snelson has already served four years of his yet-to-be-determined sentence. Snelson's family had no comment following the verdict. However, a friend of the family had this to say. I think most of it thought it would be one way or the other. We certainly believe that he's not guilty. Jean Cusworth was visibly shaken following the verdict as she exited the courtroom. RCMP, along with the Cusworths, will be holding a news conference Friday to discuss their reaction. In Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.